I don't trust you. You don't have a choice if you want to know what happened. But if it helps, I give you my word I won't try anything. And I never break my word. Thank you. Those ropes were tight. Now tell me what you did to Faith. You're more gullible than I thought. Let you go! You're doing great. Just like she did. No! Please! And when the pain gets so unbearable that you'd rather die, just remember, to suffer is to thrive in the grove of dead trees. With every cut, you're growing. Ah! Now say it with me. No! I am blighted. My words are woe. My deeds are wrought. <laughs> but I am not lost. By hollowed blade, I draw out my affliction. Ah! Ah! Now I need your other arm. The wrist. It's either eternity or nothing, Astrid. What's it going to be? Begun, Astrid. The children are ready. We only wait for you. No, 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 Mama, no! Stop! You're hurting me! You're hurting me! Orson, what did you do to him? It, it was an accident. Get away from him! Wait, no, Brit, please. following me too for the moment at least she she looks like Aurora so you're the one my sister has spoken of how is little Orson she and her sister are behind all of this yeah. so maybe you're not as stupid as I thought we can't let her go I'm afraid we're in this labyrinth together 
until you do what must be done. The Heralds want to bring on the Withering. That's why they're doing all of this. I still don't understand. They took our kids to make us suffer. To... To bring about his coming. Hello, sister. My dear Barbara. Who's coming, Aurora? The one who will redeem us. The one who will take up all our anguish and free us from it. The Great Empath. We will not be deprived of him any longer. I must open myself to eternity. Please, Astrid, help me get there. Help you? Why would I ever help you? Because we'll both get what we want. Is that... Is that your god? No, no. Another emissary, a precursor to our true savior. Consider him a tool. A tool for what? We're tired of all your cryptic bullshit. Just tell us what you want. My body stands before the altar, and that creature is the knife. I just need some help falling onto it. So, give me a push. Just a push. You... you want me to... I am a willing lamb, but it will be all the more potent if you lead me to slaughter. So do it. Don't listen to her, Astrid. It's what she wants us to do. She'll do it because she wants me dead. As revenge for what I did to you, to your family. If you want to die, die. But I'm not like you. I would never- Stop running away from what you really want. There's no saving me. There's no saving anyone. Become Astrid. Become who you're supposed to be. Astrid, she's lying to you. Is mommy coming? She's taking care of something important. Miss Barbara says to suffer is to thrive. <sighs> and we are all suffering now. Eric! You have to go! You're, you're not safe here! Slow down! What did you... What's that? You don't want to know. Come on, we have to get out of here. No, no, no! Hello? Hello? You're part of the Foundation, aren't you? Please, just let us in. And let those things follow you in? They're not following us. Please, I have my daughter with me. I'm sorry. You have to convince them! Daddy, it's coming. Shit. No luck? No. Where is everyone? I... I don't know. You think Astrid came here? I... I just thought maybe she'd come into town for help. What's he doing? I think he knows. What happened here when Ava... He probably does, in a way. Someone's going to have to explain it all to him at some point. Why everyone hates us? You can't hide it forever. He's so young. How would I even begin to explain it to him? Tell him the truth. I don't even know what that is. How do you remember it? You want me to recount the most terrifying day of my life to you right now? Make me relive it? Why haven't you asked me before? I... Uh, I didn't know how. Maybe I didn't think it was appropriate. Since when have you ever been appropriate? I was ashamed, okay? Ah, yes, shame. That unfortunate cocktail of regret and self-hatred that prevents us from doing things that would ironically make us feel less regret. Like... Checking in on your best friend, who was nearly murdered by your sister. I'm sorry. I know. Now that I'm thinking about it, 
Maybe you shouldn't tell Orson anything. Spare him his dark family history. You think? He might mistake it for his legacy. My rot. Rachel, come on. No, no, no. No, let it take my rot. Fuck. Where did she go? You deprived her of eternity. <sighs> She'll have to find another way of claiming it. She was going to keep hurting our children. She didn't hurt your Orson, dear. You did. What? Both of you did this to your children. You're lying. They'd be better off without you. And you know it. Fuck you. This is all your fault. You know it's true. <laughs> I think it's dead. So you're just gonna leave us out here to die? My daughter is with us. She's just a little girl. Eric, we can't just stand out here. We have to do something. Hurry, get in! I'm not gonna leave you out there to die. What's happening to them? We're all having visions, Eric. It's everywhere. Miss Nora! Hi, sweetheart. How are you doing? I'm tired. We've been running since we left home. It's almost non-stop now. The fog and those... monsters. Seems like you've made new friends. They gave me a much nicer reception than the Foundation did. And they were a lot more open about what they knew about my brother and the steel mill accident. You didn't think to mention that you worked there? Or that you were best friends with the guy responsible for my brother's death? They told you about Toby? I can't believe that you didn't say anything. Even when we were at the steel mill together. Are you really that much of a coward? Nora. I shouldn't be surprised. I've seen the way you let your wife walk all over you. Is it dead? I think so. But I have no idea what the hell this is, so let's not take any chances. I don't understand. Barbara and her sister, they took our children, but... but they didn't do anything to them? It was us they were after. Barbara told me all of this? The withering? It's all because of me. We can't trust her. But what if she was telling the truth, Astrid? There's a reasonable explanation for everything. No! No, look at that thing! How am I supposed to keep my child safe from all of them? How can I keep her safe if I could be why they're here? No, Rachel. This is not your fault. You love Faith and you would do anything to protect her, right? Of course. Then get back to her. She needs her mother. I just want her to be safe. Even if it's not with me.
There you are, looking for Grandpa's goats. Guess they've been gone a while. They died. Guess your grandpa couldn't take care of them. Is Aunt Ava dead? The thing you need to understand is that Ava was just a terrible person. A, a monster. Am I a monster too? Oh, Orson. Why would you ask that? Ava had darkness in her. And so do I. And so do you. But she hurt a lot of people. And that was her choice. You can be different, Orson. Ava hurt people. Grandpa hurt Grandma. Mama told me about it, and I hurt you. But you didn't mean to, right? Right, Orson? Do you see them? They're getting closer. I don't trust these people. You should keep them away from Faith. Sooner or later, they're going to realize that those monsters are coming for her. Stay here with Faith. Can we talk? Alone? Listen, I know you're angry but you need to get over it and move on. There are more important things at stake here. More important than my brother? Nora, he's gone, but my daughter is alive and in danger. I know you want to protect her too. Can we put everything else aside until she's safe? All right, fine, but I'm doing this for that little girl. Once she's safe, I want to... There's nowhere to go. They can find us anywhere. We can't stay here. We'll make a break for the door. Where's Krista? I don't see her. I think we're safe. They're still out there, Daddy. They're gonna come for me. We're going to be okay, sweetie. Did you see anyone else? Krista? No. What was that? Is someone there? Are... Are you real? Yeah. We're real. Are you okay? I keep seeing things. Horrible things. They're after me. They're after all of us. You've seen them too? Everyone is seeing them. Wait. I know you. You're one of them. The Foundation. You're the reason these monsters are here. My daughter's here. Please. It's your fault! I just want it to stop. What should we do with them? things considered. Orson, your mama's back! What happened? Did you find Aurora? She's alive. Somewhere. 
I don't know. Fate worse than death, if you ask me. How about you? Is everything with Orson? Aunt Britt told me about Aunt Ava. What did she tell you, Angel? She said Aunt Ava was a monster, and that I have that darkness too. And so does Mommy and Aunt Britt. Orson, that isn't what I meant. That's enough. Can I speak with you? I'm sorry I mentioned Ava at all, all right? Can you just yell at me if that's what you're gonna do? Let's just get it over with. Because honestly, I'm just too tired to fight right now. You're right. You shouldn't have said anything. It wasn't your place. Yeah, well, you weren't around, and he was insisting. What else was I supposed to do? Wait for his mother. We have to get out of here. We can sneak out the kitchen side door and make a break for it. And go where? Those creatures seem to follow us everywhere. I don't know, but we can't stay here. We have to go, now! We won't find much help here. We just need to find a safe place to hide and regroup. Maybe Leo could help us. I hear people. Maybe they can help. I found them! They're over here! You stay where you are, you witches. Witches? I, I don't understand. You people. You curse this town. What the hell are you talking about? You Johansons! You brought these devils down on us all. Over here! This way! If we rid the town of you, everything will go back to normal. Back the fuck up! Please, my son is with us. Mama, why are they mad at us? It's just a misunderstanding, Angel. You have to pay for what your family's done. I said stay back! What have you done? I will rid. We have to go now. What are you doing here? We need help. Your family brought these monsters to our town. And now you want our help? Let them in. It's like a refugee camp in here. This is the only place they think they're safe. No place is safe. It's getting worse. Well, there's space for you here. I've got an area by the bar. Now I'm not staying anywhere near that little Dridsek. What did you say? Peace, friend. Ever since he wandered back out of the woods, he's been... afflicted. They are the reasons demons are here. I think that's enough out of you. This is my hotel. They stay here under my protection. Understood? They think I'm a monster. You're not, Angel. They... They just don't understand. But we'll show them. I'm sorry about that. Thank you, Leo. Are you okay? It was a little rough getting here. Tell me about it. I'll be fine. You know, 
Things are pretty tense around here. I have a room. It's safe there. I think it would be wise if they all stayed in the same room together. Well, I was. She's right. I'd feel safer if Britt and Orson were with me. Yeah, okay. I have a room too. If you wanted, I'd enjoy the company. I think staying with Nils would be good. For them and me. Hogan feels the same. Well, maybe I stay with Nils and you and Orson. We need to stay together. You've seen the way people are here. Well, Nils and I might not get another chance to be... alone for a while, and... <sighs> I've said my piece, but it's your decision. How the hell did I get here? Faith! Oh my god. Stop! Please! It isn't safe. You need to go. I'm looking for my daughter Faith. She was with her father, Eric Hernandez. Hernandez? This was his fault! The bar was a safe place until he barged his way inside. He let the monsters in! Do you know where he went? Hopefully as far away as possible. <laughs> Fuck. It's here. I have to find my daughter. Listen to me. You won't make it. And even if you did, you'd just be drawing those things right to her. She's safer without you. Wait! 